My name is Parik McCarthy and I'm on the Cork GB training scheme. So I suppose I, I had a little bit of a convoluted route to get to general practice, but I, I finished my internship in Cork. From there, I dabbled a bit in psychiatry. Um, and from there, I went into the medical BST in Watford. Um, I had a great time there doing that. And then from there, I decided to go and work abroad. So I worked for two years as a medical registrar in New Zealand. Um, so yeah, so I had a great time out there. And then I think while I was in New Zealand, then uh, as I was working as a registrar, I realized that I, I did want a bit more autonomy over my career, that I didn't want to be moving from hospital to hospital, um, that I wanted a bit more variety to my day and not to be kind of pigeonholed into one speciality. So yeah, so I kind of decided at that stage then that general practice was going to be a career that I wanted to explore then. It was great to go away and see how a different health how, how a different health system works, and then I suppose to like it gave me an opportunity to work in renal medicine and geriatric medicine as a registrar as well. Um, and I suppose to to really see what it would be like. I suppose the higher the higher you go in, in hospital medicine, um, the more you see what a career in that job would be like. I mean, you know, a career as a as a specialist in hospital medicine isn't like being an intern, but it's closer to what it's like to be a registrar. So that certainly gave me the opportunity then to see what those careers would be like. And then I kind of looked at them and I said, no, you know, I, I think I'd prefer to be working in, in, in a community setting, in a general practice setting. I really enjoyed working in all the jobs that I did in medicine. And there was no there was no one job that I, that I loved above all the others. And I felt that general practice, I suppose, allowed me to see that variety of, of presentations and the variety of cases um, and, and maintain that variety, I suppose, going forward in my career. I suppose growing up for me as well, like I'm playing any football locally, you know, I, you know, I'm involved in my community at home and I think like being a GP kind of allows you to tap into that kind of sense of community maybe at home as well, even now going out to general practice, um, you know, in the last kind of couple of months. You know, it's great to have your weekends back, kind of, in a, in a sense, and kind of to be looking forward into a career now where um, nights are just not, I suppose, as much of a, a thing in general practice at all. Um, and to kind of, you know, I, I think sometimes when you're working in the hospital setting and you're working in those busy environments, um, you forget that that's not actually a part of a lot of, a lot of different jobs. Um, so working in general practice does probably give you a bit more of that work-life balance. Research it, um, you know, talk to people, uh, talk to general practitioners, talk to trainees in general practice. I think what I did, I certainly talked to people who were in GP training and I think in fairness, <clears throat> across the board people had positive things to say about GP training um, you get great support in training um, and I think you do get a solid training and a solid base to go on and, 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 and to be a good a good GP in the future so like talk to people get opinions decide if it's if it's for you even you know get in touch with your own GP or your own local GP and um, maybe try and see if you can sit in on a session and see what it's like because you might have forgotten what it's like from your time in university or your time um, uh, your time in, 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 in sitting in with GPs at that stage and just see what it's like and see if it's something that you'd you'd like to explore and if it is then you know um, go for it like, yeah.